Okay, so I was kind of inspired to do like a grungy glam, I guess. Um, this is something I would personally wear like day to day. If I'm gonna sit down and I really feel like doing my makeup, it's probably gonna be something similar to this, but um, I think this is a little bit more grungy or dark and it's a lot of lash for I think a lot of people, especially for like every day. I'm gonna look real crazy when I cut to me starting to do my eyes because I did my full face and my eyebrows before I did my eyes, so it's gonna look a little nuts. I just figured that this look is mostly about the eyes and most of the time people have their go-to face up that they really, really love, so it's not overly important for me to like show you me putting on my foundation. Everybody knows that you just smack it on there. So anyway, I'll just have it listed down below if you are curious about maybe the highlight or whatever. It'll be down below. I feel like I've said everything I need to say, so we're just gonna get right into this makeup. Again, I'm about to look crazy when you see me. Okay, I'm about to look certifiable. First soft brown color, just gonna toss it into the crease. I decide that for the end result I want, it's not quite dark enough, so I use the same brush and I go in with uh, the next darkest color, which is this other brown, still on like that warm kind of mustardy yellow color. Same brush, just throw that in the crease and blend it out. You'll see that I place my color in the crease and then I pull my hand back on the brush to blend it out. It's gonna soften that color a lot more for you. I'm going to take that same darker brown, the second color that we use, and put that right in the lower lash line and then blend it out. I like to do this as I go so that the whole eye is getting dark as I go so I know when I want to stop. If I do the whole top of the lid and then try to match the bottom at the end, I feel like I'm not as happy with the end result. So I kind of switch back and forth from the top and the bottom, making sure that they're even as I go. I also make sure that throughout the look, I'm connecting the bottom lash line to the top of the eye look. Now taking this third, slightly darker, still pretty warm brown, I'm taking a more pointed brush and placing that right into the crease, right where I want that deeper pigmentation. And then I'm going to go back in just a second with the first brush that we used and blend it out. I do go back with this pointed brush a few times. I kind of just switch back and forth between the brushes until it's as dark as I would like it to be. With that same dark color, I'm going to take the same brush from before and pack that onto my lower lash line and then go ahead and blend it back out again, just keeping the top and bottom even. Then I'm going to take this color base from Sigma. The color is called Pose. I don't know if they make this color anymore or even make new eyeshadow bases, but I'm showing you the color so that maybe you could find something like a color tattoo from Maybelline that's really similar. It's just kind of a dark brown color. I'm going to take this shimmery color. You can't really tell it's shimmery in the shot, but it is a shimmery red color, and I was so happy with how it looked over this dark brown base. It looked so pretty. It kept it very deep, but it's a nice berry red color, and it was so, so pretty. Now I'm going to take this very deep kind of purpley brown color and a very small pointed brush and just pack that onto the outer corner. Then I'll take the bigger more pointed like fluffy brush and blend that out a little bit with no extra product on it just blend it out going back and forth making sure it's as deep as I wanted but still blended. Then I'm going to take whatever's left on that pointed brush with the dark shadow and just run it along my lash line just to deepen it up a little bit. Then I'm just going to use some mascara. This is L'Oreal Voluminous in Carbon Black, but go ahead and use whatever you want. I'm going to throw some lashes on over this. Don't feel like you have to. I am going to show you a quick clip with the difference, but I think it looks just as good with no lashes and just mascara. 
I'm going to go ahead and highlight my inner corner with this shimmery, shimmery gold color. I'm also going to take a very brightening face powder and just kind of blend it out and also go onto the side of my nose to get some of that shadow out of there so that gold shimmery color can really stand out. I'm just going to cut some Ardell Demi Wispies in half. My eyes are just so small that I prefer to cut these lashes in half and stack them more towards the outside. So go ahead and glue up your lashes, do the lash dance, change your song, you know, take your time. And then I'm going to place the longest part of the lash on the very outer corner. And then with the half of the lash that would have been towards the inside of the eye, I kind of put it maybe halfway on my eye. There I am showing you, like about halfway on my eye, sort of overlapping the other lash. Then I just press it on there with my finger. Now, if it's better if you have a lash tool, but if you want to risk it all like me, just go in with some tweezers. Just please be so, so careful. You can really like poke your eye or pinch your eye skin and it it's painful. So here's the difference between lashes and no lashes. I honestly think they both look amazing. So just do you, whatever you prefer. So that's all for today's look. Thank you so much. All the other details of what I have on will be in the description bar below. Thanks for watching. Boys are here, I guess. Coffee, 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 coffee.